So one thing that we wanted to do with our game is to do animated characters. Uh, we know that in a lot of visual novels, that's not so much the case, or the only other option that you have is a program called Live2D that you can import through Visual Novel Maker, um, but they don't support the newest versions and it's very hard for them to update. So an easy workaround that we decided to do was to use a program called Character Animator uh, to animate our characters and import them into Visual Novel Maker, uh, giving the illusion as if the characters are alive and interacting. And so we basically have to break it down per line, per animation, and this is kind of how we've done it. So as you can see, we erased the previous movie, and we show the movie of the next line, and at the same time, we have a message box that shows up that says the words that the character is saying. So here's an example. Iko sent you. Oh man, she's the best! The name's Kage, Master Sorcerer. What can I do for you? And what this allows us to do is not only make it feel more interactive, but it's also not using the idle expression that lets you do a random mouth flap when they talk. We wanted actual lip syncing and animation in our game. So inside Character Animator, we used a Photoshop file and we rigged it in a specific way that allows Character Animator to rig this character into a movable talking puppet. If you go into rig mode, you can see that we added a background image of what the scene looked like. That way we can rescale him and position him in the way that we wanted for the rest of the game. Uh, that way we don't have to guess later on or have to move him around too much. He's already placed in the spot that we want and we can just animate on top of that. Over here on the left hand side, you can see we broke down the scene into every line within that scene. And then we also animated each of those lines. So if we go into the scene that you just saw and we hit play. Iko sent you. Oh man, she's the best. The name's Kage, Master Sorcerer. What can I do for you? Basically, this allows us to not only add very accurate lip syncing, but we can also adjust his animation as he goes throughout. Another nice thing about it is in case the voice actor changes or we decide we don't like that animation, we can come back in here, do very small tweaks and pump out a new version very quickly. So once he's all animated, we go up to file and we export it as a PNG sequence with a WAV file attached. It will kick out a new folder and it will put every image that it took to make that animation as a PNG. And at the very bottom, you will see a WAV file of the audio that we used. We then bring it into Premiere Pro by navigating to that scene, clicking on image sequence and the first image, and that will import all the rest into a video file, kind of like this. Obviously, there's no audio attached, so we bring it into a sequence. And when we attach the audio and the video together, it looks like this. Iko sent you. Oh man, she's the best! The name's Kage, Master Sorcerer. What can I do for you? And then the last step is pretty simple. We export out a WebM format of it. Uh, we had a preset that we made for our game and we export the video and the audio. We also make sure to include the alpha channel and what that does is it takes away uh, the black from the image and makes him transparent uh, so that it's just him as a character. We then navigate to the movies and we created our character folder for that scene and we import that WebM file into character, the resource manager for uh, Visual Novel Maker. And then we show it as a movie and we make sure that there's no looping to it. And what that allows for is it just to play once. One other thing that I forgot to say is um, you'll see at the, at the end of this file that he goes away. Uh, one thing that we learned with uh, visual Novel Maker is in order to keep him on screen and waiting for the next animation to happen, we had to scrub into the video file at the very end a few frames so that you still see him within the movie file. And that basically ensures that once this movie file plays and then stops, it stops on this last frame. Otherwise, if we had played the movie all the way to the end, he would disappear after saying his line and we want him to remain on the screen. We used two numbers for our show movies. We used 10 and 11 just because it was easier to keep track of. So if 11 was playing, uh, 10 would be erased. And if 10 is going to play, 11 is erased. And then we just jump back between those two numbers playing throughout. So then to move on to the next line, we would erase his line and then plays the next one, which is Inugami, huh? 
Inugame, huh? Have you tried sitting and staying? <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of dog humor. Why do you want to be a dog so bad? And that's how we progress throughout the rest of the visual novel. We did that for every character, for every scene. Um, it obviously is a little bit time consuming, but we prefer this to live 2D. This is obviously a process that we'd like to see a lot more creators start doing, especially ones that want to add lip syncing into Visual Novel Maker and moving characters. In the future, we'll do a quick tutorial about how we set up Character Animator to work and how we got the lip syncing to move accurately with the voice actor. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Talk to you guys later.